There are people who really believe that there should not be any black women nerds at DreamCon. And in that DreamCon may be in trouble next year. Your boy Mark Phillips in RDC World came under fire today on Twitter after they posted a tweet response to another person's tweet. Now, it reads, y'all thought we was playing. Now, if you're looking at the entire tweet thread, you might be thinking they're talking about Megan Thee Stallion. And this is why they came under fire. And this is why they also decided to apologize and rescind the tweet. Delete it. It's gone now. First off, I want to say I commend them for doing that. Because a lot of people did not understand why. When I saw the tweet, as you guys know, I talked about that tweet thread already. Nig nerds is where that tweet thread started. And when I saw that they posted what they posted over top of that tweet thread, I knew exactly what they meant. However, a lot of people did not, and rightfully so. Now, I know a whole bunch of people are going to be angry about that. No, they're, they're too sensitive. They're too sensitive. What you guys must understand is what I'm sure Mark Phillips in RDC understands. Every nerd do not watch them. I knew the context immediately because I saw when they dropped that video. We deal with nerds like that right here on comic Twitter, anime Twitter. We deal with them constantly. Those guys. So I know exactly who they were directing the tweet towards the idiot who said Megan deserved to be shot. However, like I said, a lot of people do, everybody do not watch them. A lot of people did not understand the context. They just saw black men pointing guns and another black man say that Megan deserves to be shot for picking My Hero Academia over Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, again, I commend them for apologizing. And just the other day, I did a video talking about that other nig nerd who would not admit he was wrong when having a discussion with me. And in that video, I said, it is okay to admit when you're wrong. Well, yesterday night, I had a discussion with my girlfriend. It was about this very situation. She asked me what happened, and I explained to her exactly what happened. And we both came to the conclusion, simply, that it's a funny-ass joke, but it's the wrong time, and they didn't say enough to, what's the word, to clarify what they meant. What happened, happened. However, after that conversation, my girlfriend and I was looking at retweets of this whole situation with RDC World and the comments responding to Psyche Santana. My girlfriend was saying, no, 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 no. What happened was my girlfriend brought up a tweet and then a tweet said, y'all want Megan the Stallion to come to DreamCon Acting like this? My girlfriend said, see, black girl nerds do not feel safe around nig nerds. And I told her, and I reassured her, I reassured her, nig nerds is not all of us. It's not even most of us. However, after reading the retweets of Mark Phillips in the RDC world apologizing for their ill-fated tweet, seeing the very responses from people who look like me, people who only look at things from their point of view. Again, I knew exactly what he meant. They might have knew exactly what he meant, but your reaction to them apologizing, to them re realizing that everybody wasn't in a joking mood at that moment because they responded to a very serious tweet, the Nick Nerd tweet. Black women nerds don't feel safe around us. And I want to apologize to my girlfriend. She's not up here right now. I want to apologize to her because while I defended us, I didn't really defend us. I said that that it's a minority of us. And a lot of people is just, it's just people on Twitter trying to say shit for clout. But then I read a bunch of retweets. Now y'all can go read the retweets yourselves. 
And I seen people interacting with each other, with the black nerd girls and, and the people who love RDC and, and DreamCon, people outright saying, we don't want you here. And it just reminded me of the lunch counters in the 1950s, 1960s, the, the lunch counter protests, the bus protest. We don't want you here anyway. I apologize to my girlfriend. And again, I don't believe that it's all of us. But after reading that, there's a lot of us. And black women nerds, blurs, women blurs, have every right to be feel unsafe around us. Because while RDC is joking and they did the right thing, the people who follow them do not understand why they did it. And that is ex- and that is very bothersome. I apologize to my girlfriend for that. You were right. However, Nick nerds, y'all need to look in a goddamn mirror. Y'all need to look in a fucking mirror. Now, I don't, again, I don't think it's all of us, but there are a lot of us. It's more than I thought. Now, I just thought it was just idiots here on TikTok. The idiots who scream and yell at a camera, who get mad when you have a different of opinion of a comic book character. I just thought it was people being, people just trying to entertain. People doing this shit for clout. There are people who really believe that there should not be any black women nerds at DreamCon. And then that's just for the guys. And then there should be no women. I really thought that we would want, a, a, a shitload of us would want to see Megan Thee Stallion at DreamCon. And there's a lot of people who are like, no, we don't want that whore here. Legit, literally, go read, go read the, go read them. Please go read those retweets. Don't take my word for it. Read them. Look how appalling that shit is. I think it's sad. Again, I want to thank RDC for doing the right thing. And I hope DreamCon prospers. But you Nick nerds, I I hope what you, I hope you get what's coming to you. I can't believe I I can't believe you Nick. I can't believe you Nick nerds. It's pathetic. Y'all are mad because they apologize because they're mature? You're mad they're mature? You're mad they understand even though we saw that they were specifically talking about the asshole, talking about shooting her? Because the video itself is making fun of those people. It's putting a mirror up in front of those people saying, this is how you look when you disagree about a fucking anime. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. I'm so glad that those guys are mature. And they understand. But I really thought that all of those people, that reaction to that was just clout chasers. Those guys really believe that shit. They act like the guys who got mad when the girl said, hashtag cancel DreamCon. And she was only doing it to get attention, to draw attention to the fact that she got shafted for like $1,000. I would have done the same fucking thing. If nobody was listening, nobody was hearing my requests, hearing my complaints, I would have said some crazy shit like that too. I'm not going to get mad. She, It's not going to get canceled, right? Nothing happened in order for it to be canceled all the way, but it definitely deserved critique from what I heard. Anyway, that's that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, the bamboo earrings, baby.